In this full Pygame tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Pygame by coding a snake game. We'll start by creating a new Pygame project on Replit. Thanks to Replit for sponsoring this video. We'll have to import Pygame and random and then initialize Pygame. We'll set up some basic variables for the game. Now we'll use Pygame to set up the drawing window or display. We'll also use Pygame to create a clock object which will be used to regulate the speed of our game loop. We'll create a run function that is used to start the game. x1 and y1 are the coordinates of the snake and dir is the direction that the snake is moving. Snake list keeps track of the coordinates of each part of the snake's body. We'll also have variables of the snake length and food coordinates. Now we'll begin the main game loop. Pygame handles all its event messaging through an event queue. We can use the event queue and some if else statements to change the direction of the snake based on what keys the user presses. Then we just add the updated direction to the snake's x and y coordinates. We'll fill the entire background with blue and use Pygame to draw a rectangle. We pass in the display, color, coordinates, and width and height. Now we add the head of the snake to the body and remove the last body piece of the snake if it is longer than the length. If the snake hits itself, we restart the game and if the snake hits the edges, we restart the game. Then we use a loop to draw a rectangle for every body element of the snake, similar to how we drew the food. If the snake's head touches food, we move the food to a random spot and then make the snake longer. Finally, we use Pygame to update the display. And by calling clock tick 10 once per frame, the program will never run at more than 10 frames per second. Then we call run to start the game. Let's test out the game. This is fun. You can now add Pygame Developer to your resume. Thanks for watching.